Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel where today's video will be unboxing the Razer Sinosa Lite Gaming Keyboard as well as the Razer Death Aider Gaming Mouse. Let's get right into it. <laughs> So up first we have the Death Aider Essential Agronomic White Gaming Mouse. So it's the packaging. We have a bit about the mouse on the back. Razor on the sides. Just some details on the bottom. So there we go. So we have some documentation all about the mouse, as you can see. And then we have the mouse here. these to the side so here's the mouse and it's packaging so there we go let's take it out and here it is so the RGB eraser so at first it's a pretty good feel it's pretty comfortable two side buttons So yeah, that's pretty cool. Now we're got, we'll be doing a review in a later video, so you'll be able to see um, what all the capabilities and everything in another video. So now, the main thing, the mouse, the keyboard. So we have some documentation here. And here's the mouse. Let's take it out. There's also some documentation in there. Let's see if there's anything else. Alright, so some more documentation in here. Some stickers at the back. Put that aside. So here is the mouse with some packages. Here it is. At first, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good feel. It's quite bulky, but at the same time, it feels pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug this in, as well as the Death Aider, and we're going to show you the RGB. So first off, on um, the Sinosa Light. 
So some features about this keyboard is that it's powered by Razer Chroma, so all the RGB effects. It's powered by Razer Chroma, which you can find and change the colors and effects in the Razer Synapse app. Um, it also has gaming grade um, soft cushioned keys, which is basically a spongy feel key, which in my opinion is pretty good. But for others, it may not um, be the best for them, but for me, it's pretty good. Um, and it has fully programmable keys, so say you're um, gaming, um, you can actually turn on game mode, so it, the keys, it doesn't come up. So say you didn't want the Windows key to come up whilst you were playing the game, it'll um, disable the Windows key until you turn it off. Or you can just select another option where you can, lit, like, full time, those keys do this thing for you. Also, moving over here, there are some RGB, some LED, sorry, effects. So if I press caps lock, the green would come up over here. And all that. Um, so there's a few more over there. So moving on to the Dethata Essential now. So this mouse, it has some side buttons for moving up and down in history. That's programmable. And overall, the RGB effect looks pretty nice and shiny. You can't change the color, unfortunately. Um, it's, it's on the razor green. On the back, we have some info. Razor Death Aid Essential. So yeah, on the side, we have moving up and down through history and stuff. And you can program and change those. And yeah, that's about it. Alright, so to be able to change the RGB effects of the keyboard and the mouse, and to also... Um, use the Razer Chroma, you first have to open the Razer Synapse app. So once it's finished loading, you're going to have all your items you have. So over here, as you can see, I have the Death Theta Essential and the Sinosa Light. So first off, we'll do the um, the mouse. So as you can see, we have the Customize, the Performance, as well as the Lighting. So for the Lighting, you can just change the Brightness. So I do 0. The um, RGB is turned off. You can't see it, but it's fully turned off for me. I prefer to keep it around 50 to 55. And then you can change the effects. So breathing's like um, turning off and on. But I keep it static. And then you can change the um, the amount of time it takes when you're idle um, for it to turn off. So now moving on to the Sonosa Light. So as you can see, First off, we're on Customize. We can first off program these keys to whatever we want. And over here, as we said earlier, the gaming mode. So if you do Always On, it disables this Windows key. I'll keep it off. But you can disable the keys you don't need and all that. Now, if going for lighting, as you can see, we have the brightness here as well. And then also we have the advanced effects. And then go to Chroma Studio. So as you can see, I have the wave turned on, and you can change that to whatever you like. You can do ambient awareness, and that's more of a grayish one. You can do breathing, which is um, only the green, you have fire. We have a bunch more options, but I rather keep it a uh, wave. We also have this wheel one. It's basically like the wave which I use, but the wave's a little bit more different. So yeah, that's the um the RGB for the Sonosa lights. So if we go back to keyboard and lighting, we also have the same things as the mouse. We have how long it takes for the lighting to turn off when you idle or when your display is turned off. So thank you for watching that video. Hopefully you guys learned something new off of it. If so, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, turn on that post notification bell, and comment what you'd like to see in the future. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys next time.